Well, good morning, everybody, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you all to the great constituency of Dublin Central. Uh, thank you for joining us here today, and a particular welcome to uh, the Taoiseach and to Minister Humphreys, and a thank you to them for involving me in the launch of this really important strategy. Heather promised me there would be no headsets. Uh, and within moments of walking in, uh, that promise was broken, Heather. So I'll have to keep this in mind when I consider future invitations to events in my constituency. But I, I really am really pleased to be here today because I genuinely believe that the Future Jobs Ireland uh, launch and the strategy that is contained within it is really, really important to our economy. And in the few moments of your time that I'm going to take up, I'm only going to address one theme in this report, which I believe is very important, which is the recognition in this strategy of productivity and the next steps and strategies that are but against us for realising the productivity dividend that we have within our economy. And this strategy recognises the importance of productivity because it looks out into the future it sees all the change that is on its way to us, change indeed that in many ways we are part of, as you can see from all of the technologies that we saw before this event. Technologies uh, that will deal with the role of artificial intelligence, deal with the role of climate adaptation for our economy, uh, are not just uh, approaching our economy. In many cases, they are already here. And they are approaching an economy which at this point in time is in a position of strength. That position of strength is most evidenced by what has happened in our labour market. Uh, since our lowest point in 2012, we've seen approximately 400,000 jobs created within our economy. However, the moment we take job growth, job retention, or economic growth for granted, we are halfway on the journey to losing that growth and losing those jobs. So that's why the Future Jobs Initiative that has been launched here today is so important. Underpinning this strategy is a recognition that we can never take this kind of current economic stability for granted, particularly with the many great challenges that we know are approaching, at least one of which should become clearer this week. One of the particular themes that is called out in future jobs is the huge importance of productivity. And many of you will be aware that productivity is one of the few really crucial determinants of what will happen to an economy in the long run. Paul Krugman, the American economist, once wrote that productivity isn't everything, but in the long run, it is almost everything. But despite this, productivity as a measurement of success within an economy doesn't really receive the kind of focus that the other outputs do that I've already touched on. And one of the reasons for this is that productivity, when it's measured, tends to be something that by its nature is a little bit of a slow burner. It might change a little bit month to month or quarter to quarter, but in the long term of the performance of an economy or a country, it rarely changes. And one of the reasons why this is so important for us is the overall productivity story for our economy. Underneath that story, there are many, many different trends and many different dimensions that we need to be aware of. The most recent OECD figures that looked at this issue, both globally and in the Irish economy, would suggest on a top-line level that uh, the Irish worker per hour worked is the most productive within the OECD. In fact, their productivity level is twice the OECD average. However, on the basis of work done by Heather's department and by my own department, we know that much of that productivity performance is driven by the presence of some very significant companies within our country, and is also driven by the presence of some very particular forms of technology within our company, country. And when we disaggregate this overall level of performance, we can see that we have many different parts of our economy that are moving at different speeds of productivity growth. So just to take one very topical example, which is the construction sector, if you look at the build report that my own department published there last week, 
It indicates that the construction sector, on average, is 25% less productive than the EU average. And this is one of the reasons why, in the recent OECD survey of our economy, the OECD concluded that changing productivity is something that, in the very long run, can make a huge difference to living standards and to competitiveness within our economy. So this is why productivity is one of the key pillars of future jobs. The particular action steps that are called out in future jobs are ones that in the long run, I think, can make a huge difference to our economy. It looks at how we need to reduce the barriers to entrepreneurship. It looks at how we need to have the right financing conditions in place for young, innovative firms. And in particular, it looks at what we need to do to try to unleash some of the productivity that's concentrated within some particular parts of our economy and move that into other parts of our economy, and in particular, smaller firms who are currently moving at a different speed. Progress in this area, combined with all of the action steps uh, that are uh, identified in the summary that the Taoiseach and Heather just gave, offer a programme for our economy uh, that looks to anchor in much of the success that we have delivered and the Irish people have delivered in our current economic circumstances, but very importantly looks to the future, looks to a changing global economic environment, looks at all of the different changes that are taking place in our work faith place, and calls out the strategies and action steps that we now need to continue to deliver to ensure that we have economic prospects that can be positive and resilient in a changing world and in a changing economy. So thank you for attending this important launch, and Heather and all of her team can be assured uh, that my departments will play our role in realising the very important next steps that have been launched here by Heather today. Thank you.